Chargers, Barracudas, Challengers, Camaros, Impalas, GTXs, Chevrolets, Chevelles, Transams, Roadrunners, and at least one Firebird. These are just a few of around 87 muscle cars that Coyote Johnson has collected over almost 50 years. And in September, he'll auction them off in Red Oak, Iowa. I started when I was young, you know. At the time when you're collecting them, you never think about that, but sooner or later, you know you have to do what you gotta do. Formerly a third generation carpenter, he built everything on his 20 acre Red Oak property, including his bar, the Owl's Nest. In the early 90s, he would scan classified ads in the Des Moines Register and the Omaha World Herald for cars he didn't yet have. You know, they, everybody grab a paper, but now it's different. You don't even see a car in there. You know, the old classics. We just took them and redid them, rebuild them, put them back. Back in them days, you got your money's worth. A lot of them have been redone pretty much, top yeah. to bottom. And we took them all out, washed right. them, and brought them back in. Now she's just... There was probably yeah. five more cars in here than what's in here. Well, you know, through the years, you know, they change. You know, every designer, they try to compete, you know, between the Chevys and the Ford and the, you know, the Chryslers and the Plymouth and the Dodge. You know, they always, you know, come up with a special look car and that's what sold them. Yeah, this is mostly it was top secret. I mean, I, I didn't reveal anything, you know, so. Yeah, you only live once, so, well, I've done that, you know. It takes a lot of money to put them in housing and, you know, keep them up. You want to make sure you do something that's worthwhile. 